is our 7x14 by 7 by foot tall Anvil cargo trailer that we ordered directly from Anvil in Douglas, Georgia. Here's our water inlet. Uh, I didn't order it with the window. I installed that myself. It's a 20 by 24 inch. And we had them from the factory make it seven foot tall and put on the walk-on roof package with 12 foot our 12 inch on center uh, beams. Right there is our air conditioner exhaust. We have a portable 9000 BTU exhaust um, <laughs> air conditioner that exhausts right there. This is actually a marine window that I installed for boats. Um, it was inexpensive. And very practical. Moving on to the back. Um, installed these legs for the ramp door so that we can use it as a deck. I'll show that to you in a second. Here's our power inlet. It's a 50 amp power inlet. Right now I have it stepped down to just an extension cord 15 amp just so I can run power from the house. So let me pull this ramp door down and show you the deck. Here we have the deck. Works really well. To give you some more space. It's almost like having an added whole room to your enclosed cargo trailer conversion. So here's our interior. Um, my wife wanted to go with a cabin look, so that we did. Um, thankfully our walls were 3 8 finished plywood, so I just cut 8 inch grooves in the plywood to make it look like shiplap. Um, I think it turned out pretty nicely. Oh, she's happy with it, so we're happy with it. Did uh, vinyl flooring. Got a good deal on that, so that was practical to use. Um, here's our bed. It's a 30 inch by 75 inch cot size bed. I, I made the frame. I uh, installed pull out drawers in the bottom just on wheels. So, two on total and uh, good good use of space for putting our clothing in there when we're camping. Um, I'll have to show you it pulled out a little later. Right now it's doubled up the mattresses using it like a couch. Um, a little cushions to sit up against. Uh, most of the accessories in here uh, we got at Ikea. Obviously pretty popular these days to accessorize from Ikea, but uh, You'll see that most of our kitchen setup is probably Ikea. Um, the lamp, the shelves, the little cups, the kitchenette itself um, is from Ikea with a stainless steel sink all included. Um, we just added the fridge and our, our plumbing is um, actually just a little lithium ion pump found on Amazon, a lot of other Cargo trailer conversions seem to be using these. Um, it just sends a hose down through to a six gallon fresh water tank. I uh, wanted to keep things simple and easy. Um, and that just drains down into a six gallon gray water tank. Um, here we have our outlets. We have five outlets total. Um, and all the power, as I said, comes in over here. And it goes underneath the bed. I actually have a, a household breaker box tucked in behind there. And we can take as much as 50 amps in here. We have five outlets total. Um, GFIs, one in the kitchenette area and one in the bathroom. And... Uh, works very well. I didn't show you the pump, but let me see. Sufficient amount of water. 
and that'll that'll pump as much as 50 gallons before you need to recharge it it's just a USB rechargeable so it's very convenient um, here's our pantry barn door close off the bathroom Uh, reclaimed pine boards from my in-laws house I was able to make good use of them in our own camper and that was nice to be able to recycle uh, here's our air conditioner it's a 9000 BTU portable air conditioner um, vents out the side there uh, works pretty well in here uh, I try to make good use of space in our pantry so this is a kind of a, a pull out just on wheels just so that we can put canned goods or whatever we need to in there. Uh, the pantry door with three pull outs it just makes it a little bit more convenient to get to your things. And there's our power plug in there. Up top. This is a flip up door. A little bit more storage. And there's our converter to 12, 12 volt um, so that we can run our max air fan in the bathroom above the shower. Uh, shower, I try to just make something custom that would fit in the V. So this is what I came up with. It's probably not the best, but I did do a wraparound shower curtain so that uh, I can really keep the water contained and funneled down to the drain. I'm using a Camplex hot water heater propane. Um, really works very well. Uh, it's very simple plumbing. Um, I did the plumbing myself, so I wanted to keep it simple. I'm not really that familiar with plumbing, but this was easy enough. Just have it coming in from that outside garden hose. Um, right now, we have the propane tank inside, but I'll be moving it outside to the tongue of the trailer. Uh, it was just primarily for testing. So the back of the pantry, we have the exhaust from the air conditioner. goes down and out. Here's a couple of shelves. Current temperature is 81, almost 82. We are in Citrus County, Florida. So it is humid right now at the beginning of October 2020. There's our coat hangers. Um, so let's see, what else? show you the bed all pulled out just a second here here it is um, it's just a kind of a finger joint I don't know what you call it but pretty popular to do that um, turns it from a small twin to a queen size bed and I just to keep it from moving off this rail um, I just drilled a hole and sent a an allen head wrench through there as a pin to lock it into place so here it is opened up let me move the mattress and show you what it looks like as a queen okay so here it is all pulled out and set up as a queen bed um, still allows you to access the drawers underneath and potentially even put more things underneath the back part of the bed if necessary uh, plenty of room for my wife and I can walk between here there's about a foot and a half with the bed all closed up um, there's actually four feet between that wall and the bed frame so I put my motorcycle in here there's plenty of plenty of room but 
And then when we pull the motorcycle out and extend the bed, we either have a nice lounge area to watch TV from at night, or just have plenty of room to sleep. So this has worked out really nicely. These cargo trailers, I feel, make a great option for having a nice either camp space or frankly even something this size as a kind of a tiny house I don't see any problem with that um, of course there are restrictions but I think it works really pretty well I took a lot of time to design it I've probably got about four months of, of thinking into this thing but about two months to actually put it all together and build it so I worked by myself um, the only thing I didn't do was the electrical and that my brother took care of for me as he's qualified and um, yeah it was a nice project that we are very pleased with the results on I don't yet have the weight total yet but I'm gonna go get it weighed and see what it weighs total but I don't think I try to keep things kind of lightweight so hopefully it's not going to be double the weight it was before I started but thanks for watching and uh, hope this helps you if you intend to do a build similar thanks